What's happening, my beautiful people? My name is Mike LaBelle. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. I might have a black eye brewing. We can discuss. I got poked while playing football. That's what happened. I know some of you will say organics. We're just getting it out of the way early. And we're talking goalkeepers in today's episode. If you haven't subscribed, it's free. If you want to support it, by all means, like it, comment it, run it up. And I need your opinion because this is the most debated position. This is the least statistical or logical argument that can be made or is possible in terms of bringing that narrative or the storytelling or having the credibility because with goalkeepers, let's keep this very transparent. If you had a positive experience, you might run with it. If you had a negative experience, you might write them off. We're all guilty of doing this. Criteria is simple, must be a goalkeeper, no repeats. I'm not gonna talk about multiple iterations of the same player. And did I mention expect controversy? There's no doubt, this position is just different. And I've made previous videos, but the game has shifted, patches have happened. There's been positive and those negative experience that really come into play that will change your opinion on a goalkeeper. And what we're looking for is consistency, reliability. These are facts, at least for this position. In particular that was a lot mouthful we ran this up BAM 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 summer some of you will co-sign the fact that he makes it into the top 15 if I didn't mention we're gonna go through 15 different goalkeepers we're gonna stir it up a little goalkeeper mixology lots of ingredients this man's like a third tier condiment you want some extra relish or some sauerkraut He's in that category. This is not the ketchup or the mustard. I'm not a big fan of mayo or ranch. I know many of you would have the white plus one, that extra saucy sauce as a tier one addition. Casper Schmeichel might be a surprise. Only an 86 overall. I feel that he's always been rated, but still somehow ends up being underrated. I see him used early on, doesn't always get the prettiest of links. Fantastic in real life, doesn't even get the respect sometimes in the Premier League. But he's also amazing in FIFA, especially over the past five years. I've talked about him not being friendly, definitely not being a ghost. Yes, that is a reference on an old cartoon that I don't know if anyone watching this is going to get that reference. You should, you could, you would, but I know we got a lot of the generation G or X or whatever the hell's going on now with different age ranges. Bravo! Makes me think of the sneakers. Always a red colorway with different silhouettes. Doesn't fit the meta, but I put him into motion. Gave him a trial run. Mainly because I did a video with Yvonne. Many of you know him. Yvonne LaPagna, Boris legend. And he said that this Bravo was pretty special. Can't fit him into the box or put him into a box. He's breaking stereotypes. I agree. Courtois. I know. Many of you will have this man in your top five this is controversial this might raise question marks raise fingers but we're not soft on the youtube channel and for me he's good i'm not changing my stance i've just never connected he hasn't had the consistency that i'm looking for i keep getting the wrong wi-fi code and i have used courtois different variations different versions bought him sold him bought him sold him didn't fall in love he's not a superstar for me alisson the original Brazilian before another member in the Premier League, which could be more early insight and potentially some additional foreshadow. We're just backdooring, double dipping. I still feel that Alisson deserves a placement. We've all used them plenty. Donnarumma, massive, huge, man, child. I cannot believe he is 21. Congratulations to Italy, of course. Donnarumma played a big factor. I know that's real life, but even in FIFA, I liked his normal, the record breaker, the team of the season. He's the wrecking ball in the Miley video. I don't think that he's gonna wanna co-sign that. He's not given the stamp of approval. Ariola, best of France, at least if we're looking at FIFA. Clear favor for the country. It's sort of clear cut, big, fast, athletic. When you're looking at goalkeepers, you're almost building NBA players, at least to a certain degree. There's some hidden stats or characteristics or traits. We, we've talked about saving with feet, but even the way that goalkeepers come out, speed comes into the equation, but some of the reactions and the general positioning, I don't know if there really is a stat that gives you a direct measurement that says this guy's gonna be better than that guy. Tell me I'm wrong. Pope, anomaly, 
He joins the ranks of the Saint Maximin, the Mendy, even the Varon. Where, don't get me wrong, the stats aren't bad. They look good on all of these players, but even when they're lower rated, they outperform, and that's what's happening with Pope. I don't think anyone is taller, at least if we're looking at the center meters or uh, the measurements, if you're gonna use feet and inches. I still don't understand why in the United States we use a different metric system than basically the rest of the world. It's not everywhere, but when I'm talking or what I'm discussing, we're measuring miles. We're talking about ounces. We got feet. We got yards. We have cups. I'm just confused. Why do we complicate everything? Oh, everyone else uses Celsius? I think we're gonna run with Fahrenheit. I like it. I can't be the only one who's wondered. Yashin, pretty sure I'd be terrified of this man in real life. Strikes me as a crazy Russian. I have no means of being able to confirm, but I also can't deny, I can't prove differently. Have you ever seen those YouTube videos where meanwhile in Russia and you see all sorts of different choices acts unusual events feel as if yashin would have taken part and in fifa i like him he's not my favorite of the icons clearly speaking of icons better check this is your build a goalkeeper model structure body just the type the characteristics if you were to create a pro he would look something like petr check the framework is there manuel neuer you knew and i knew and he knew and she knew that he would make this list it's just a matter of what number also the current goalkeeper that i'm using and i prefer the 95 to the 96 and i'm sure some of you will say you prefer the higher rated the team of the year variation versus the team of the season and that's where it comes down to preference even some of the lower rated items of some of these players i know that you're gonna tell me they're better they do something different you trust them you're telling your secrets sending out whispers deliveries and deliveroos i like neuer also one of the faster goalkeepers gets off his line quickly stands by the sweeper keeper oblak came into the argument or the discussion late this year also the highest rated goalkeeper in the game at a 96 overall he's been fashionably late but he's still showing up to the party and now with it being easier to link these players whether it's icon defenders or you're doing something la liga based you have more options more variety more depth it's no longer the same issue or challenge to get all black into a team even though i will say when i make these videos i take into consideration ability not price point and not links. I'm just talking about who's going to give you the best result. In my opinion, Schmeichel. You can call him Daddy Schmeichel. And for me, the top three are pretty straightforward from a personal experience perspective. And this Schmeichel had a delayed growth spurt. It's not that he wasn't being used or that we never saw him, but I feel the last few months of FIFA is when we really saw this uproar, this uptick, popularity, maybe some hype beast action, a standard a rotational he was getting bought off the marketplace people were spending the big bucks and they were receiving the benefits drum roll please i guess for number two we have ederson easily the prime selection of the brazilians in the premier league which is a very specific niche anyways really really fast i loved his inform the previous iteration even his baseline if you're looking at the gold foot item ederson this year has been pretty unique and special from the jump at least for my own personal 1v1 or weekends that he's partaken he's shown up he's talked about it he's led by example he's made a lot of key saves i just rate him and his acceleration and his sprint speed are both in the 70s which translates to zoom speed for goalkeepers. And that half second allows you to cover angles, be more aggressive, disrupt through balls, which we know are very overpowered in FIFA 21. Anything to gain a small competitive advantage. And at the top, I struggle to get away from Vandersar. I just do. Pound for pound, I believe he's the best goalkeeper. The one downside or the downfall, and you might notice it, you might not. He's not the fastest. But at the same time, some of these players don't always fall into a very direct categorization or the stats don't line up or make sense. There's not that resonating, distinguished factor that translates statistically in some sort of perfect manner. That was a lot of different words involved to basically say, I think his sprinting and acceleration is fraudulent. He's actually quite a bit faster. Not as quick as Ederson, but... 
that's the list my opinion let me know in the comments what do you think which goalkeepers have been the best for you it's really that simple i don't care if they're an 80 overall or all the way up to a 96. i realize this position has more of the discussion the round table the open book than pretty much anywhere else but i have a lot more content coming out asap asap